just as you can find a new adventure and a new love after your first marriage, so can you find a new life in a foreign land. For me, for now, it's South America. My name is Lauren Lau, and this is my adventure in Grand Colombia. So today we're going to take another little cruise through a neighborhood. Uh, we're going to go on Carrera 16, which is south of where I live. And we're going to stroll down that street. It's very interesting. It's uh, Stratus 4 mostly. And then uh, we're going to walk uh, towards Simon Bolivar Avenue, where I can hit up the ATM. Then we're going to walk up Bolivar, which you've seen many, many times. And I'm going to end at Olympica because I need bread and eggs again. So enjoy the walk. One of those thousand dollar cars. One thing um, of the many that I really like about Armenia that I really appreciate is you see all these plants and flowers, see how tropical they are. Yet you don't have that sweltering heat. Now today's pretty overcast. Let me see if I can pan up here. You see it's pretty overcast. But it has its usual cool breeze. And today, being overcast, it's about 72, 73 degrees. That's what it was a little bit ago on my phone. But see all the... All the interesting foliage, all the interesting plants that are basically tropical. And then throughout the city, you have these... I don't know, I guess you'd almost call them little adventure trails. There's places all over, but you see you got a... Let me pan down. You see you have this walkway area. You go down, and you go down, and it goes down again. And then you're in this little, uh, kind of like a bamboo forest. Little tropical forest right in the heart of the city. Now these are all over the place. Pretty fascinating. So even if you like to um, be in and explore nature, you can do that right in the heart of Armenia. Hey, Latina Blanca. No, Latina Negra. no gracias.
viendo que video. Perdón. Video, gringo. Oh, sí, sí. Gringo. No, no colombiano. Colombiano. <laughs> Armeniano. Nueva York. Nueva <laughs> York. Ahora viver en Armenia. Bacana, Armenia, ¿verdad? Sí. Fabri. No se ve muy bien. Compra una jalea, un venezolano. ¿Y? Claro. Ah. Es triste. Ah. Maduro a Venezuela, ¿verdad? Uf. Se volvió nada. No más socialista. Bueno. Bien. Chao. Venezuelan street vendor. It's one of uh, many just trying to get by, trying to survive. What's so amazing is uh, Venezuela is such an educated country. So many people that you meet will have their college degrees or advanced degrees. And yet, when they have to go hit these other countries, they have to work peddling water at the corners or make food in the house and take it out and sell it on the street. Jobs of waiters and waitresses. As some of you know, I had a friend in Ar Armenia from Venezuela who was a neurosurgeon. Um, very pretty, <laughs> very pretty neurosurgeon. You would think she had everything in the world going for her, and she was struggling to find jobs, and about all she could get was part-time cafe work for about a dollar an hour. I mean, it's uh, very unfortunate. Project Burger. Never heard of that one. Never saw that one before. I've walked down the street. I never noticed it unless perhaps it's new. Yeah, one more burger to check out, right? Another uh, bakery and lunch. Nice looking place. I wonder if this is the Pani Chocolate I've heard about before. Let me see if I can find a sign. Yeah, that's it. See it up there. Pani Chocolate. Bakery, sweet shop, and lunch. Kind of like on the first floor of my building. But this one is pretty well known. I mean, I've heard of it. Uh, run for our lives. place on the corners for rent. Actually that entire building is for rent. Well, wonder what that costs. You could house a family of 12 in that place. thousand dollar car anyone it's got a racing stripe
taxi stopped to let people go. Thousand dollar car? Yeah, they're everywhere. And I came up a street short, I got excited. I should have gone to the next street, but here we are, it's Fundadoras Park. Parque Fundadoras. The line for the Davi Vienda ATM. But we're going over to Colpatria. Look at that road road stop. Those are transito police. The transit police. They take care of uh, traffic tickets and license and registration. License, registration, please. Road checks inside the cities, or at least in Armenia, is uh, pretty rare. Between cities, it's almost a given. It has more to do with uh, immigration scoff laws. They're very, very hard on people to break immigration laws here. As you probably already know if you watch my series, Life on the Run. Where I got to live in fear for weeks. But inside, it's inside the city, it's very uncommon. But you never know, they might be, uh, they probably are looking for someone in particular. No, gracias. Toro Chuleta, highly recommend it. Great place to eat. Candillo cuisine, original cuisine done by a chef. Done really, really well. And, of course, you've got Colombia's KFC Frisbee Chicken, which is far better than KFC. It's more like, a, I guess you probably would compare it to Bojangles. Over there you have that little lunch place that I showed in a video before. It's right at the end of uh, Parque de la Vida, the Park of Life. And there's a bit of a surcharge because it's in the park. It's uh, just under $4, 11,000 as, as I recall. But it was quite good. It was better than average and um, beautiful setting. Of course, there's the Park of Life. You should know that by heart now. If you haven't seen it, check out the videos that I did in the park itself. 
Um, not just a Christmas video showing all the Christmas lights, but prior to that, a year or two ago, I walked through the park and did a video there.